Ted Trick. Yeah, both of these teams have struggled immensely, so we'll see who's going to be able to... I was going to say outstruggle, but... Uh, I apologize in advance for these team fights. Soul, though, getting aggressed on by Crush and Hippo. Killer comes down. Soul's just going to charge up that ultimate. Misses. Doesn't hit. That could be devastating. Has to flash away. There's no tower to retreat to. Gets a stun into the wall here for Hippo, but they're still just slowly whittling away on him. And he goes down. It's going to be Hippo coming up with the first blood. Items reach their full efficiency. They might have to be fighting for a fourth, a fifth dragon, where the margin... Oh, oh, Flash Body Slam onto the Kalista, gets booted back, popped up in the air with the Pulverize, and he is gonna go down. Nuclear finding that kill. Teleport's coming in here. One was canceled, the other one comes through. Crush is joining the team, though, and the Poppy has arrived as well. They go on to Hippo, who is exhausted. Can they pin him to the wall? Looks like they're just gonna be chipping away at him. It's gonna be the Body Slam coming through. They boot him back with a headbutt. He has to flash away. Looks like we might just have a one for zero, but a nice and well executed. Next, very nice Valkyrie away by Sawson. TP's coming through straight in the brush. Flaw is still in the pit. Big chunk down to about half HP, trying to get that dragon. But Cougar is going to get engaged on, and he is going to go down. Nuclear finding the first kill of the fight. Very nice ultimate by, by Soul. Sends the Kindred flying out, and that's going to be the smite away. Confirmed by Nuclear, so third dragon going over to Spenu Sonic Boom. Now on the run, a very nice barrel to knock him away. Soul, though, has to flash the wall to get himself to safety. But just like that, who is kind of cheat towards the top of the map and threaten Baron. But with their low health bars, no way they could realistically no do it. Fourth dragon at 26 minutes. Now we have a headache every six minutes further into this game. And it's going to get the reset, however. And right now, we just have a standoff going across this one little line of the river. Neither team wanting to really pull the trigger. Dragon down to half HP. Soul boots out. Doesn't actually get the boot out on Crush. He's still here to try to smite this away. The dragon resetting and healing back up. Kong doing a pretty strong spot. Triple knock up. Sasan has to go over the wall, but Gugger goes down. They pin Crush into the wall. It's going to be the wild growth coming through for him. Lambs for Smite has to get dropped. Now the Poppy being taken quite low. Soul on the run, but here comes the culling and Sasan. Meanwhile, finishes fifth dragon. Info. That's fifth dragon going over to Spenu Sonic Boom. And they have blown this game wide open. Flash forward, Sasson, he takes down Crush. He's going to find Soul. Nuclear finishing him off, and it's just Edge standing. Here comes Soul. He went back to base uh. and TP in. Not going to be able to find the Lulu, but with that fifth dragon, Spenu can take so much off the map. Game wins. You take the games when you can. Yep. Oh, Gugger goes forward. Takes so oh. much damage from the Corky. That's just absolutely disgusting. Fate's call. They actually throw him back in. Nuclear going to get popped up in the air. Lambs for Spike keeping Gugger alive, but it's going to expire soon. He goes back in on the Sausage, but immediately falls for it. Crush goes down as well. Edge on the run. Soul just tanking up this front line. That's going to be the Tier 2 Tower. 45 seconds on the Kindred, 30 on Gugger. How much of the base can they take away? The Fates calls this game, Achilles once again going in as a level 10 Nautilus against four people riding the fourth, the fifth Dragon buff, and everyone having Baron. They really don't know what's happening in the use of Fates call. It's been desperately poor. Will they finish the game off here? Maybe Sasson gets DPSed out, so maybe not, but here comes the Super Minion wave. Yeah, there's still 5th Dragon, and all the tanky members on the side of Spenu are quite healthy. Soul going deep, trying to get onto the Kalista, not going to be able to finish him off, but he knocks him away from the rest of the team, long enough for the Nexus Towers to fall. Now it's do or die time for Kong Doom Monster, but I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. Nexus falls, and Spenu, looking extremely strong, are taking game one. Yeah, Spenu desperate for their first match. Spenu got the better trades in game one, and then blew the game open with their dragon control. Kongdu, again, they have a similar... This is the body slam. He wants it to reset. Yeah, Teleport's coming in. Double TP coming in. Dragon getting really, really low. That's going to be a knockaway, and it's actually confirmed by Sasin. Meanwhile, the bouncy house comes in, but Edge gets pinned to the wall. He goes down for the first blood. It's going to be Secret taking that one out. Lambs for Spike used by Crush, trying to stay alive. It's going to expire. He gets the heal, but here comes the Sand Soldiers. Can they finish him off? Secret on the chase lands the Q on the Hippo. He gets stunned up and should be going down. Flash away, Mikey Flood, but Soul gets pinned in by the last pixel of that wall. And just like that, a near ace for Spenu off the backside. Of the not a flashy player, but he gets the job done. Dragon's been started up here every second for either team. Huge damage on the Flawless already as they throw him in. He's going to go down. It's actually going to be Soul finding that first kill. And now Spenu may be having to run out of here. They boot away Hippo with the ultimate here. Keeper's Verdict. Hungdawas are actually getting shoved off of the Dragon, but still have the numbers advantage. Secret low on mana and HP has to peel back. Looks like without the smite, this is just going to be second Dragon going over. Two Kong do, so a nice little pickup for them to get a kill. Yep. But they do. Still Hippo on the road down. It's going to have to use the teleport into that brush. Although he gets thrown out, it's just going to boot Alistar out, but that's enough to confirm.
confirm the dragon here for Flawless. The question is, does he want to go back in? Flash body slam on a hippo, knocks him into the team. They should be able to chuck him out. Lambs for Spike comes down. They're just trying to sit in this. They stay alive as long as possible. Visual Fisher comes through. Hippo dashing back in. Gets on the sauce and knocks him up in the air. But Sassen, the damage is starting to come through and Crush stuck in the pit. He goes down. The Azir finishing him off. And Soul is still a very healthy Poppy. Playing up in this front line. Cougar almost going down. The flash boomerang from Nuclear will finish him out. That's going to be two kills picked up so far for Spenu. Looking for more as they go on to Soul. Looks like he's going to be able to dash over the wall and get to safety. Nicely played again by Spenu. Pretty good. See the Sand Soldiers being used to just keep Gugger away. They want to deny that Pulverize engage, but they get it anyway. Sasa does get knocked up, but Secret just taking up the front side with the Unbreakable, keeping him alive. Secret has to jump away. Gugger with that ultimate up. He is still very tanky. Multi comes through from Hippo. They push back in. Looks like Kongu Monster should be able to confirm the dragon, and they do. The Ring Blade not going to be able to steal, but Hippo gets pinned to the wall by Soul. Pushed away by the Empress to fight. He has to flash out as well. And this is going to be Spenu hot on the chase. Gugger going to be the first one to fall. Several members of Kongdu still very low. Let's see if they can continue this. Not from Spenu, there's no teleport from Hippo. Yeah, this is going to be a 5v4. Soul comes in, knocks Gugger away. They go over the wall onto Crush. He can't even use the Lambs for Spite. He goes down. This should be the Baron. Oh my it's god! Not. It's actually taken by Soul. What is. Oh no, it wasn't. Sorry. Soul <laughs> kills the Poppy. I thought the Baron was stolen. It still goes over to Spenu Sonic Boom, and now they're just cleaning up this fight. I, I got it. Very smart. They had the teleport advantage. They used it. Hippo just walked nonchalantly, but oh. got nothing. Well, yeah, he's going to root in. Sassen gets popped up by the Pulverize as well. Edge is here to layer on the damage. He's going to take down Sassen. And this is going to be secret and flawless. More than likely falling as well. The dredge line goes wide, but it doesn't matter. The Glitter Lance is there to confirm the kill. Flawless on the run. Tries to slow him out by rolling the barrel, but he's still going to get hit by Gugger. Knocked up in the air. He goes down. Crush finds that kill. Just like that. Three more kills coming in for Kongdu Monster. Soul, Flawless waiting to go over the wall. They do boot away the Kindred, so this should be the smite confirm here from Flawless. Knocks away Soul, gets it, body slams right back over the wall to safety. It's gonna be the ultimate coming through the depth charge onto Nuclear, who does not have the spell shield available. Soul taking a lot of damage at the front lines. Cougar goes in, huge pop up here, and they just boot Sassen straight into the front of this fight. Empress of Fight still available, hasn't been used yet. That's gonna be the Alistar falling so far. It's the only one to go down. Crush takes a bit of damage, Soul going in, stun solution into the wall, very well played. And that's going to be two more kills picked up by Spenu. And just the finish here, Spenu. Edge jumped down to half HP, has to go back in. Nice three-man pulverized by Gugger. But look at the damage from Sausage just ripping through that Alistar, whose ultimate is not available. The first Nexus turn goes down. Looks like the second one is going to go down as well. Crush in the back line, trying to make something happen, trying to buy some time. The Lambs of Spite will keep him alive. Sausage, can he finish him out? He actually can, and now it's just Soul in the base. Trying to finish the Nexus, but he's not going to be able to do it. That was really awful from Spenner. They Boom. just lose the game. They have an open inhibitor in the mid lane. Oh, dear. Sassen tanked. Baron. Down to 10,000 health. Remember, Crush doesn't have to worry about explosive cast when it comes to the Lambs for Spite. Still tools to deal with it, but very true. No flash either for the Gragas. Cooper goes in, gets three-man pulverized. Knocked up. Secret with the Unstoppable facing the wrong way. Not been getting a lot of this damage. Wallace has to retreat. Lambs for Spite gets thrown down as Crush and Cooper are quite low. Flash away by Hippo. The ricochet coming from Spenu, looking to finish off several members of Kongdu. They get out with their lives, but I don't know if they're going to be able to contest this Baron. Be a miraculous steal by Crush, and he would pay for it with his life. Only has a spot ward. No one clears out. Finally, it goes yeah. down, but Crush accepts that he can't contest the Baron. Nice smite. Picked up by Spenu. Should be able to get some quality time with this. Crush and Cougar taking so much damage. Flawless goes forward with the Flash. Not going to be able to find anything. Just knocks him away. Cougar still taking a lot of damage. Has to pop his own. Ultimate. Hippo gets stunned and Crush actually goes down. Can't even use the Lambs to spite it. Just like that, Spenu gonna start sweeping through the rest of the members. Wild goes under the Lucian. Uses the calling in a last ditch effort to try to keep him away, but he cannot do it. Just like that, one last fight. Three members go down on the side of Kongdu. That's gonna be the Nexus falling. And Spenu, Sonic Boom, have found their first win. It took 14 matches in Champion Spring 2016, but finally Spenu do it. Finally they can smile after a best of three, because they finally have... ...positions from either side. A lot of consistency here. Nothing that can really throw him off. Third versus fourth, big match. Life, though, he's been in from the start, so... Not too surprising. Who's on in this mid lane, has to flash away, but the chain still connects. That's going to be the flash body slam coming through. They slow him up. That's going to be the ignite to tick him down. And that's going to be first blood going over to BDD. Really nice. They didn't layer the CC either, so the cleanse... Impressive. Returning to the sort of playstyle we saw from him in the Challenger League last year. Yeah. Shade coming in here to... 
toward the brush. It's going to be a full-out engage. Kramer gets caught. It's going to be a cocoon coming in. He's going to go down. Pilot finds that kill. TP still coming in here from Untara, but can they make anything happen? It's being matched by Trace, and now suddenly Untara, all on his lonesome in the middle of nowhere, has to waddle out of hidden features. Ah, uh, yes. Dragon's I like how everyone started up here. That. It's going to be the TP coming in from Antara. Dragon's still low. Has a lot of spears. They find Kuzo uh, on the other side of the river. Hextrinker pops, but it doesn't even matter. Bubbling finds the kill. And that should be the Dragon going over to CJ. It'd be their first here. And there it is. Just like that, they have enough pressure to maybe take down this tier one in the mid. Top. We've got a lot of time it and will, some levels, but... It will take a Maokai forever to clear that thing. Now BDD getting targeted out. That's going to be the depth charge coming through. He takes a lot of damage. Tries to jump away, but he just can't do it. Wink. Finding that kill, it's going to be two members going down here. He's not going to start the arrow, it does connect on the Mad Life. Teleport. Yeah, Matara coming in from the back side with the TP. Kuzan throws out the arrows, trying to lock down Bubbling. He takes a little bit of damage. Fate's call is thrown. Mad Life goes back in. Looks like Jay is going to be the one targeted out. He has to flash away. Matara to follow up, though. Looks like the Alistar could be falling. Kramer is still juking out these rockets, not taking much damage. But now he's taking a ton as Pilot goes forward. The exhaust comes across, however, and he gets locked in. Can they finish him off, though? The flash away from Matara. Kramer is still very low. Wing goes forward, but he cannot confirm the kill. BD trying to zone them up, but he gets grabbed up by the dredge line. Arrows come through. Kuzan finds the kill, and CJ have to run for the hills as all members are below 50% HP. Jinev fighting in that wide open area allowed them to kite back because they were fighting around mid. They turn onto Baron. They have really high Baron damage with double AD and an Elise. Yep, BDD going down was pretty crippling. It looks like CJ might try to contest this. Kramer has sustained back up, but Utara, the front line is so low. Bubbling gets grabbed at the dredge line, straight into a cocoon for the extra CC. Utara goes forward, he goes down, but they do finish off. Winked, Kramer, Kramer though, he gets locked down. Can they finish him off? He's juking and dodging around as fast as he can. Trace hot on his trail, throws out the ward. Kuzan's here for the piercing arrow, grabs him into the dredge line, and they take him down. It's just mad life alive now, trying to recall, but Jay, here he comes. He's gonna find him, headbutt some around. Kuzan should be able to finish this off. There's nowhere for the Trundle to run. Mad Life's just trying to buy time. BDD's respawn. They do not want to give up Baron. It's a heavy price to play to cancel the first Baron attempt. It looks like it's successful, but Bubbling. now they're ignoring it. BDD goes in, gets knocked up immediately into the cocoon. Almost goes down, and he will, and back by the Ignite from Che. And that is not looking good from CJ, who are trying to continue this initiation. Che and Wink down below half HP. Looks like they're just going to go over onto Trace and try to lock him in. Nowhere to go, no flash to use. He will go down, but how much more damage can Pilot pump out? Che getting pillared in. That's going to be the barrel coming out. Connect. Confirm with the Rend. He comes in from Trace, however. CJ going to have to back off of this one. Che goes in, only finds Mad Life for the pop-up. Char goes in, roots down the Alistar. Ultimate does get pop up. He goes in the forefront. And that's going to knock Kuzan straight into the fight. He gets knocked up again, and he is going to go down. It's going to be two kills now. For CJ, who are hot on the heels of Jin Air. Trace, still no flash. He's gonna fall, and that's probably gonna be the Baron coming out from CJ on the back end of this fight. What a cast from Bubbling. Bouncing the Varus to die instantly in the front line. Bubbling solo wins that fight. Really, really nice fight. But we asked what we see on the Gragas after being impressed with his kindred, and the answer is exact mechanics to bounce in the Varus. He dies instantly. That's what that's what they failed to do the last time they fought in this area. And CJ down about 7,000 HP. Mad Life taking a little bit of damage. Trying to just keep off. It's going to be a nice teleport in the backside by, by Utara. BDD chunked out the half HP. No Utara in the thick of it. It's going to be the Baron confirmed here by Kramer with the Ren. Trace getting locked up. The chains there as well, trying to lock down CJ, but they just go straight into the face of the beast. And Jin Air looking like they're scrambling a little bit. GA is going to be popped here by Otara. BDD comes around the backside, takes out Kuzan. He'll fall all the same, however. This could actually be a fight that Jin Air turn around. Utara's going to go down, and it's going to be just Kuzan on the side of Jin Air's three members with the Baron. Yes, they are. And Hibbert Tower goes down TP onto that banner of Command Minion. Jin Air is going to be able to walk away with that one. Yeah, still 20 seconds. Kale's Crucible, QSS, Teleport. Yeah, TP on the backside for Untara here. Goes in, locks down Pilot. It's immediately going to cleanse that one off. Untara taking a lot of damage in the front line. Kramer gets knocked up by Che. Not too much follow-up going to come of it. Actually, they all just pile onto Kramer. Can he get out alive? He's not going to be able to do it. It's Pilot taking him down. Pilot, though, Valkyrie away to keep himself alive. BDD, the threats from CJ are down. Pilot falls, but Kusan is still there and still very healthy, trying to chunk down Madlife, who is on the run. GA gets popped here for Untara, but he is completely surrounded. Looks like he's just going to go down. And with that kill, with those kills, I think Jin Air might just be able to win the game. And there we go.
the first bit of action that we've had in like the last 10 minutes, the first objective take. Pilot finally pings on and shows instant Baron start for CJ. Yeah, he roams up, he roams right back down. Mad Life gets grabbed up in the dredge line. Fates call, gets thrown out. Kramer just working down this front line of Jay, who's down below half HP, has to flash out to safety. Mad Life gets caught up. by the cocoon. Can they confirm it? He just has to flash away as well. And Tara flashes out. GA still available. Jin Air still very healthy with their carries, and CJ getting pinched off. There's really nowhere for Mad Life and Atara to go. CJ wants to keep this oh. fight going as long as possible. The minions are now hitting the inhibitor. They just want to keep playing with Jin Air. Yeah, the pinks are coming out, and Jin Air is actually going to go ahead and start up this CJ Baron. Had to come back in. Yeah, they're going to lose their inhibitor. Utara, TP not yet available, has to come back in. Bubbling gets grabbed up, popped up in the air. Looks like the damage might be enough to take No, no, D straight into the back line. Finishes off Jay. And Bubbling gets out with his life. And just like that, CJ coming out ahead of this one. Who's on really low on mana. Gets exhausted, has to flash out. But I don't think it's going to be enough. The cocoon lands, but it finds Mad Life instead of Kramer. BDD on the flank as well. Yeah, Pilot is here. Chunked down to half HP. Heal comes out in Kramer and Mad Life still pinching. Utara now, the teleport available. Kuzan, where are you gonna go? He gets locked down and he gets pumped. Kramer finds the kill. Wing trying to stay alive, repels up in the air, but nowhere to drop. Has to come down into the thick of it. He goes down. It's gonna be another kill going over to Kramer. The inhibitor has fallen, and I think CJ finally can knock down the base of Jin Air Green Wings. We thought CJ had it 10 minutes ago. They couldn't finish the game. Bubbling was the hero, smartly stopping the minion wave coming through. The turrets were too tanky to finish. Speaking of tanks, Trace is here. Yeah, here comes Trace. He's going to pop Kramer up in the air. Pilot goes deep, but gets blown up immediately by BDD. Trace, Guardian Angel available, but not going to be able to do too much. Nexus is exposed. Trace going down. This is going to be the game at 62 and a half minutes for CJ Entis. What a finish to this game between CJ and Jyner. CJ with just the smarter team in the end. I loved how they played. He's looking to take control of the early game. So, sticking with tight, both teams. Yeah, they are. We'll see what Wings can do here on this Lee Sin this time around, but we're getting ready to get into game two. It's coming Turn top. Oh, that's gonna be Mad Life going in. Locks out Pilot. Nice shield by Jay to block the W, but Bubbling's coming around the side. It's gonna be the exhaust onto him as well. Flash is coming oh. out. Bubbling did not get the body slam. That looked really rough. Pilot with barely any HP is actually going to be able to walk out of here. Mad Life goes in, cannot quite finish him oh, off. Mad Life's going to get stunned up, does not have the ultimate. He could go down. Trace has arrived, is slowing everybody with a riptide. First blood actually going over to Jay, and here comes Wings arriving from the mid lane. Kramer, he falls, cannot finish off Pilot in the end. That's going to be two kills going over. But with the flashes used, very nicely done. Yep, those five summoners. Burned out by CJ, now BDD with nowhere to go, no flash or heal available. He falls as well. It's coming in though, however, from Trace. This might just be turned on its head here against CJ. TP matched by Utara, roots down Trace. He's taking a lot of damage, will get stunned up by these concussed Jin blows. gonna get there first. Yeah, down below half HP, here comes Kuzan and winged around the wall. Utara looking like he's going to be the target. Takes a hell of a lot, he goes down, Kuzan finds him, but this is gonna be the curtain call. Coming through, Trace right in the face of this Jin. Can he finish him off the last shot? Not enough. The BD is there for the follow-up. Huge Emperor's Divide comes through, Pilot gets exhausted, he goes down. And now winged very low as well, will fall. BDD's gone down, but Kramer is still alive and well. Locks down Kuzan with the W, forces to flash over the wall with the distortion. And he will get out alive, but that's three members for two. Third for Jin Air. CJ, Corner, really CJ. any pressure in the area. Yeah, that's not it's going to up. happen. TP is coming in. They're trying to make a play here. Nice cast by Bubbling, locking him up, and Jay goes down. Winks jumping over the wall. Kramer kind of blindly firing. <laughs> shot. So he's somewhere in here. Jay. Yeah, they're trying to get onto this as quickly as possible. Wink comes to the pit, but it's actually going to be confirmed by Bubbling. Wing flashes away, still stuck in here, kicks Utara into Mad Life. They'll take a little bit of damage to the Alistar ultimate pop here. Who's on coming in the backside? Does root down BDD. Looks like he will be able to run out with his life. Meanwhile, the rest of CJ just collapsing onto Trace, trying to kill this front line. He gets rooted down by the W from Kramer, and Kramer finds the kill. Current call comes in, actually dashes into it, but he gets out of range. So Jay and Pilot are here as well to see how much damage He's they done can this get before. down. Yeah, Wing throws out the Sonic Wave though, has to follow it in now or else it's going to expire. Bad Life, fantastic play over the wall, knocking him away, denying the potential for the steal. Down. The scrying oh, off they're actually going to bait this out. Wing gets locked in, tries to throw down the ward to dash to it. Can he get to it in time? He does dash away and the Hex Trigger gets popped. Bubbling goes in though, finds Jay who's taking a bit of damage. 
Wings still playing really far forward, throws out the Dragon's Rage, has to flash away. Utara, meanwhile, has found Trace on the backside. They root him with a W from the Jin. Kuzan goes in. Can he find a target? Gets onto BDD, has to flash the wall, though, as the exhaust comes out. Kramer follows, and he'll take him down with the help of bubbling. Curtain call comes out. Not too many targets as Chay does barely get out of range, but that should be a very easy second dragon going over to CJ. Bubbling, don't do it. No, he knows there's a ward. They go in, they pop him down. Kuzan finds the kill. Utara in the thick of things. Maybe he has to reconsider this and start backing out. He's going to get locked up by those because of blows. Kramer in the backside with that depth charge chasing him. Well, BDD goes in. BDD. A nice Emperor's Divide, but he's going to get popped. Pilot finds the kill. Utara looking like he's going to go down. And just like that, Jinair are turning this on its head. 60 seconds before the Azir comes back up, I think Jinair just found themselves a Baron. The pick comp working in the late game with the gank rush. We so frequently see this attempted, but so rarely does it actually work. Crazily, it does. There's a curtain call. Yeah, Kramer just firing Jay off his shot. Jay, does he pull the last trigger? He does not. Oh, he actually does go down. The Baron finishes off Jay. Deathfire touch actually oh, on the last death hit. Oh, Deathfire. Okay, you're right. See, Natara still a very tanky Malkai. Bubbling as well, just playing up into the forefront of this fight. Wink ready to go in for the smite confirmed. He got it the last time. Dragon down below half HP. Do or die time, it's gonna be Gragas, takes it away. So CJ holding on for dear life, Utara down to half HP. The depth charge goes in on the BDD, locks him in. Kuzan goes in deep, gets on the oh. Kramer. Nice heal comes through, keeping him alive. Emperor's divide to push away the rest of the team. This is going to be the current call, but they just have to back off. CJ on the run for dear life. Looks like they may be able to get out of this alive. Remember, they're going towards Jinair's base this way. Yeah, and Kuzan still pinching from the top side. This is so bad for CJ. They get the steal, but can they even get out with their lives for it to even matter? <laughs> you can see all of Jin Air just pushing up this river. Jay coming in from the sidelines, wings there as well. Jin Air should just keep walking towards this inhibitor. They have a big minion wave pushing them. Maybe they just want to delay and allow the minions to take out eventually this top lane inhibitor. I do not see a way that CJ get out of this without losing a couple members. Who's on is a still a very healthy LeBlanc. Jay coming in. The Glacial Fisher's not quite available. They might actually try to turn this back Bad on. Time. Yeah, GA still available for Trace, however. And CJ posturing back and forth. Have to be so careful. Bubbling one shot away from getting stunned now. Looks like they're going to go ahead. Trace. They go on to Trace. They lock him up. Can they pop the GA? Looks like they will. He's going to rejoin this fight. Kuzan goes in. Chunks PDD down to half HP. Goes back in. Can he confirm the kill? He cannot. He goes down. But that's going to be Kramer falling as well. This fight is just all over the place at the moment. Trace with that GA comes back online, and there's just no damage now from the side of CJ with BDD and Kramer down. They just have to run out of here. But just like that, everybody falling except for Bubbling. I think this is going to be the end of the game. I don't think Bubbling can reach. For anybody to come oh. back that can possibly stop this Nexus from going down. That's going to be the second tower. That's going to be the Nexus and the second game. Tying it up. Junior Greenwings taking us to game three. Nice short game two. Only 57 minutes this time. <laughs> Properly. And make this jinx work. It is him. Kuzan does not want to want to get wrecked in this matchup again. Well, nobody wants to get wrecked in this matchup. It's game three. CJ versus Junior coming up. Stun. That allows you to build up your Q stacks. Ash. Mm. Bring it back. Make Ash great again. Uh -oh. oh, this is really bad for CJ. It's going to be a TP coming in from Untara, but I don't think he's arriving in time. Kramer gets hit up, kicked by the Dragon's Rage. He's going to go down. Winged, finding the first blood. Now Untara in the middle of no man's land. Looks like he's going to die as well. Trace locks him in, kills him with the dredge line of all things. Bubbling on the run. No mana whatsoever. Chase still coming through. I think he's going to fall. Flash forward for the Riptide by Trace. He goes down. And this is starting off just like we saw game two. Three kills. Dude. Jinx by then. Yep. Bubbling very far uh -oh. forward. The rest of the team. This could just be a repeat of that level three fight or level four fight. You can see both teleports coming in. Utara has already chunked out to about 60% HP. Body slam onto Che, who has the ultimate available. Triple pulverize into the calling. BDD not arriving in time quite just yet. That's going to be the wild growth coming through. Can they turn this one around? Emperor's Divide comes out. It's going to be Wing finding the first kill. Nice dredge line onto Bubbling. He goes down. Has to dash away. We'll get out with his life. But here comes BDD. Kick in. Still underneath the tower. Wild Growth comes out. Can he stay alive? Here comes Jay as well from the backside. And they take him down. Jin Air makes prime more targets to go to. And we can see. I 5,000 health. Yeah, there is no way that this nope. goes down. CJ's no down. vision whatsoever. And that's going to be the Baron. And I'm sure CJ... So, not sure how CJ 
feeling about their decision to lock this in. Wing goes deep, oh. kicks Kramer straight into the front line. Wild Growth comes through, but I don't even know it's going to matter. It does not. Kuzan finds the kill. The Glacial Fisher popped by Mad Life, trying to keep his team alive as best as possible. Has to flash away from the Sand Soldiers. Bubbling gets grabbed up by the dredge line, has to body slam away. That's going to be three inhibitors going down. Maybe just even the game here for Jin Air as Kramer doesn't spawn for another 35 seconds. Fourth Dragon buff, they can stand under these turrets for a millennia and not go down. We can see the Nexus Towers being broken, and in less than 30 minutes, Jin Air is going to close out this game and this series over CJ Antis. And not just closing out the game, because they're crushing CJ Antis. They're just going for some extra kills. Not even interested in finishing the game. Maybe they can pad the stats a little bit. Who's that? That doesn't help the stats, but <laughs> it will be the inevitable victory for Jin Air, and by far their cleanest victory in a long time, the shortest game of the series, bringing that average down for CJ Antis.